Dear viewers, hello, welcome. This is a reading for all Virgos and it's for June 2023. It is your money reading, Virgo, your finances, your work and career related. So we will start first to see what are important factors. Welcome all my dear viewers here today and let's see what's going on. The first card, we have a love charm. A love charm is about you will be loving what you are about to be going through or what you are going to be experiencing. You are going to attract a life partner or a business partner, but you are going to be in the vicinity of a life either partner as in romance or um well it could be a lover that you will be working with together um it's about teamwork and it's about this is a time where you are uniting well and doing well and overcoming a challenge together you're not alone another important factor here we have the letter i for i am and the letter g for georgia or um um grass or um geometry i just feel like there is a significant significance why these letters are here i do feel that you are uniting and putting your money together or working on teamwork together for an amazing goal you're not doing it alone you are supported let's have a look at the sacred forest here if you haven't got that partner yet my dear Virgo, you are going to be getting this person where you are finally going to be uniting together you are protected you're in grace your guardian angels are letting you know that you will be walking protected in everything you're doing and i feel like this is very strong for those of you born in the chinese year of the tiger chinese year of the buffalo ox and the chinese year of of the rat number 21 is given to me here which shows uh, matters of family also union working in collaboration and teamwork is going to be doing bringing you wonder wonders okay let's have a look at what else you need to know we're going to take five cards for all virgo money and Korea for June and the first one shows expansion now the three of ones has a lot of meaning one of which is your expanding your way of looking at life and looking at where you're at you're calculating you're evaluating where you have reached where you want to reach there's so much you want to do especially especially one thing it's out of your reach yet you haven't reached there yet but you will very soon you're looking um towards the horizon and there is also um thinking about moving further moving far from where you are or moving to a better position there is a lot of rewards with the three of ones coming your way your perspective is changing and there is three again so it shows to me within three something is going to happen we've got three given to us twice chinese year of the tiger again is very strong here and um three we're talking june so we've got july august september something is happening in september three months from now and for some it could be three weeks from now let's move on to the next card and we have the world again 21 number 21 is making a big impact here 21 so 21 and we've got number nine of course and we have 21 so september 9 again here connecting to someone um, and working in in partnership together and then the protection comes 21 and 21 again so you are guided to i can see that you are completing a cycle of a chapter of your life and moving to the next one where you are going to be elevated and there's going to be a lot of victory and a lot of abundance money coming your way this is when i talk about your money reading um this is about your money reading where i can talk about um the, the 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 lucky numbers that have been given um to me through meditation they are located in the community section of this channel you take the december 2021 and the january 2022 they're on one page they're called lucky numbers play them and play them very wisely that means very bare minimum amount of money but you play them cont continuously and um that's when i see a big life changing money coming your way big sums of money that are coming to you as a reward as a great victory for all that you have done so yes um that's the way to do it and whenever you do when you always share it with me on the channel other than the community section to share with everybody or anywhere in virgo you can write it so uh, the community section would be the best way if you can access that okay let's move forward to there it is again a big dramatic rise in your money something big is coming something that's going to make you really think about 
where you're going, where um, you're at. Chinese ear of the horse here, very strong. Chinese ear of the dragon. And again, the buffalo. And we have um, seven, the horse. Chinese ear of the horse also. Um, number seven here, which is all about wealth, money coming in. And it could be coming in July, possibly. We've got seven here. Um, pay attention big time to what's happening here because I feel like there is abundance coming and you really need to get support, financial support as to how to deal with this money. Hidden matters are coming to light. You are going to be very calm. It's like as though you know everything. It's as though you're aware of it. You might not be aware of it on a conscious level, but you may be aware of it like it's, you're not getting um, amazed. I feel like some hidden matters are uh, taking place for you. I'm going to clarify all the cards so we know what, what's happening. And there it is. That's what's hidden. What's hidden is the money, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of extreme luck and abundance. Now this, this takes the lead to everything. We've got the card of uh, extraordinary elevation in your life. We've got money, a rise in your money, and we have the wheel of fortune. One more stronger than the other one. You are destined for something spectacular. You are destined for abundance, extreme luck, and um, the universe, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny, taking over situations to move you to the next level. So yes, there may be hidden matters, and the hidden matters could be that you are destined for wealth. That could be it. So use the, the numbers that are in your um in the community section of this channel for virgo and use them wisely and play with um without hesitation because i really feel like something big is coming something massive and that massive is abundance okay is that you can see all that yes okay what you don't see coming there is um, grieving the loss of someone, but there is a great victory destined for you and you are destined for wealth. Yes, there is the grieving of loss of someone that you might be working with. It could be a friend or could be a, uh, an emotional partner, but you are destined for a great victory and overcoming a lot of obstacles. Number seven here again, those of you born in the Chinese year of the horse. I also feel freedom, financial freedom, big time. And then we've got the nine twice. The nine is also here showing that you are going, you are destined for an amazing life and i feel like with the love charm you are going to get that person um, with the destiny card here you are going to get that person that is going to support you in your um, business ventures or in your money or in your life and someone that you are going to be spending all your life with and working in team together in partnership and you could also start a business together with someone that you are destined to spend the rest of your life with because i'm seeing wealth and a life of wealth a life of luxury with someone and destiny is intervening to bring this someone um, near you with you so you can work hand in hand together to build something incredible so this is truly amazing okay i think it was like that mm, okay so now you are absolutely protected before i clarify the cards let's see what else the universe wants you to know We'll take two cards and different shuffles for all Virgos, for June money. And we have the golden rings. This is about financial commitment. This is about long-term investment. Some of you could be investing big time um, in someone. It's possible. Some of you could be investing in a situation that could give you this happy ever after kind of a life, a luxury life, a business. With someone maybe together, you're investing investing towards something really big that you want to buy, uh, investing in your own business, putting money away for something, buying a home, buying an investment property. You're doing something spectacular because the outcome is incredible and you're not doing it alone. You're doing it in partnership. So there is an incredible um, partnership here and this is about commitment, absolute commitment that is going to bring you happiness and abundance. Wow, my dear Virgo, this is incredible, absolutely incredible. Let's have a look at the next card. Let's see what that one is all about. And we have the skull. The skull is about you may be going through some rough patches. Um, some of you may be needing to borrow money. You could be low on cash if you want to buy something really big. Um, but I feel like with the skull, I always feel like you need to be a bit patient because money is coming. Big money is coming. There's no need for you to rush and take any loan or, or 
or um, any kind of, uh, you know, borrowing. There's no need. I feel like money is going to come very soon. Even though you're feeling, you have been feeling that there's rough patches and you may be needing cash quickly. I, I would say take your time. Don't rush because things are going to be um, changing for you and a lot of money is coming. Even though you might be going without work or there may be situations, it's all happening for you to reinvent yourself. And the Wheel of Fortune is going to look out for you and bring you the abundance you need. So no matter what it shows you, or if you're losing a job, you, you'll be promoted and taken to a better place where you will be recognized and more money will be coming in. So whatever is happening now, it's happening for a greater purpose that is going to benefit you so take your time you don't have to rush uh, everything is going to take place for you you are protected that's why we have the protection card here that's why when they say you are protected that means you are in grace and everything is going to go um, for you in your favor so you don't have to worry now let's move forward to the next level and the next level is let's see what else you need to know Okay, so we have the eagle and the eagle's um, saying that spirit has got your back. So you are protected. Nothing can go wrong. The transformations and changes that take place are taking place to uplift you to higher levels. Remember that when I say protected, I mean you are literally protected and you are destined for a lot of happiness extraordinary happiness and a beautiful life so whatever is happening know that spirit has got your back i'll just put it over here so you can read it spirit has got your back and your des destiny is taking place and extraordinary luck is is happening for you also extraordinary luck with the wheel of fortune and spirit has got your back they're watching over you you're protected in every way so uh, for those of you who are going through some sort of rough patches or wanting to borrow money or wanting to buy something quickly, just be a little bit patient and you'll see things are going to be working extraordinary for you. So let's see the second card for all Virgos. Money. And it says here, the groundhog spirit, time to let go of things that are no longer working. Success is coming very quickly. Those of you born in the Chinese era of the rat, Chinese era of the rabbit and Chinese era of the tiger, pay attention big time. You may be dealing with someone that might be born in those years. I also feel number four, number 31 here, very strong. And I also see the groundhog spirit is about time for you to let go and prepare for what is coming. The Spirit's got your back, so you don't have to even worry. Let's see what your guiding angels answer is for you today. Answer for June for regarding your money and your work career. It says within the next few months. Remember I said three months. We're talking September. So they're saying within the next few months, you will have your answer. And I feel like September is going to be the one around your birthday, my dear Virgo, because we've got the three of wands. A lot of rewards are coming and the universe is on your side. Let's see what else you need to know. I'm going to take two more cards and then I'll start clarifying the cards. The truth for all Virgo's money. And it says adventure. Some of you are wanting to go on adventure. Now is the time. Maybe now is the time. Some of you are already have gone. Um, I feel like it could have been in May. Some of you could have gone in May, possibly. Uh, if you haven't, you probably will go in October. We've got double fives here. Those of you who have been seeing five five, a lot of transformations taking to take you to the next level. And the next level is going to be a lot of adventure and a lot of fun. Those of you born on the fifth of the month, those of you born in May uh, or May tendencies, meaning if you have Taurus or if you have um, Gemini in you, uh, or those of you that... Um, are born in the Chinese year of the dragon or Chinese year of the rooster. Pay attention big time to this. Now, let's have a look. And also five is uh, double five. We're talking five months from now and we could be talking about October. You could be going on an adventure. Something adventurous is taking place. The second thing for Virgo, all about their money, June and work spiritual partnership now there it is again someone is coming into your life and this spiritual partnership is going to be so uplifting it's going to overcome challenges in your life you won't be alone you'll be able to move forward there's freedom it's giving you something you truly need freedom to do what you want to go the way you want this partnership is one that's made in heaven and you are going to be loving it and living 
the dream life that you want. I will put this here so you can see it. I've already talked about dreaming your life, but this is what I feel. I feel like great partnership, a spiritual one, is destined for you. This is where you're committing perhaps to do so much together. You're able to move forward and be able to do what you want. But certainly there is a commitment and certainly there is uh, a spiritual partnership that is going to be um, there for you to support you move forward again uh, number nine september here very strong september something that will happen in july uh two could be connected in two months from now which is um august right we're in june july august yeah and then um we've got those of you born in the chinese year of the horse again freedom is another factor uh, chinese year of the buffalo and we have chinese year of the monkey very important here freedom is important and end of a challenge at the same time now that we've got all this out of the way now what i'm going to do is clarify the cards and see what everything is trying what the universe is trying to tell you let's go to the three of wands and see what that is for all virgos Okay, choices. You have a lot of choices, but you've got to be very careful with these choices. Somebody could be misleading you. Somebody could be, or you could be misinterpreting some sort of truth. Um, the, the Seven of Cups is a very um, interesting card because it's positive and negative. There could be an opportunity of emotional fulfillment, this person that's coming into your life. You could be torn between a situation where you're not sure if this person is the one. Uh, to trust them, to start business with them, to put money together. There's that. There's also, um, you know, something probably that is a bit deceiving, something that's not real. It is coming in an area of your life where you feel defeated, and it could be connected to someone of air energy, uh, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You've got to be very careful because there is no win in this situation. So you've got to take your time and not to rush. That's what the Three of Wands is, taking your time and observing everything, looking at everything and not rushing while you're making any kind of decision about what to do. Or, or how to expand or how to move forward. Justice is going to be in your favor and you are ultimately going to relocate without a doubt, uh, my dear Virgo. So that is uh, good to know. Justice is going to be in your favor in every situation and you will be thinking about moving. There is a possible relocation to a better place. So all that thinking and, and calculating ultimately is going to get you to move to a better place. Let's have a look at the world, this completion that's going to bring you a lot of rewards and abundance. The first thing it's going to do, to do is release you. That's why I kept on talking about freedom. The sevens are all about freedom. Um, I feel like a certain situation where where it's ha had you at the mercy of situations at the mercy of circumstances being at the mercy of other people not being free finally you are going to be free someone is going to be helping you uplifting you inspiring you and supporting you perhaps with their thoughts with their ideas to move forward one of your wishes is going to be granted that's another factor that's helping you move forward and it's going to be the answer to all your prayers, my dear Virgo, this is your card. And I feel like by September, you are going to get the truth. And look, there's that nine, which shows that um, you are destined to live a life of abundance, the nine of pentacles, a life of leisure, a life of excitement, luxury, money. And I feel like since we have the star, that means one of your wishes is going to uplift you um, to go to the next level. And you are going to get exactly what you need. I feel like this nine of pentacles shows the great life that is waiting for you. And the wheel of fortune is going to support you, make it happen, contribute towards this life. And so is the star granting you one, the oldest wish you've been thinking about and wanted for the longest time. That's going to be granted coming to you very soon. So that is going to be all to do with the world and the completion of one chapter comes along this incredible factors for you how incredible is that truly amazing now we move on to the next level and that is the uh the higher priestess what is hidden from you what your higher self is trying to tell you they're trying to tell you that you're going to be wealthy big time you are going to be so wealthy so much money there is so much money. That's why you got the two nine of pentacles. So much money is destined for you. You've got the sevens. Now look at this. You've got, so this is, okay, we'll talk about this in a moment. Have a look at this, why I'm saying you are going to be so wealthy. Uh, the nine of pentacles, uh, it's, it's someone very rich and very wealthy, living a great life and a very leisured and luxurious life, life filled with abundance, you know, 
a dream life that everybody dreams about where you can be um, helping others who are less fortunate then you've got the seven repeating the seven of pentacles freedom from financial issues having a lot of money not knowing what to do and how to invest it you see that you got that twice extraordinary dramatic change in your money a rise in your money and you are stuck not knowing how to invest it what to do with it buy property that's what i say buy property as much as you can that's the best way of investing it everything else is a risk so don't risk it you've got the golden skull not to risk not to put money into anything else something concrete something which is all concrete earth and grounding is the best way to go okay so that's what it shows here it shows that you are destined for abundance and that's what's hidden from you a lot of money you are going to be empowered big time and this new beginning is going to give you inspiration truth releasing you great victory but most of all what you don't see coming is empowerment you are going to be in control of your journey you are going to have the power of the magician to do as you please and you will see a lot of things fall into place for you like magic things that didn't work before now they will Will work and they will go all for you you are destined for abundance you are destined for justice and there could be an offer that you can't refuse but certainly there is something wonderful happening here there could be an aries a fire energy involved in your life somebody that might uplift you to the next level possibly have a look at your general reading but most of all um, i'm seeing that there is abundance coming there could be an air energy here also but some truth is coming to light and you will know exactly where you stand with air energy our aquarius gemini libra so let's move forward now this empowerment is incredible to the wheel of fortune oh and look what the wheel of fortune just took out dreams and wishes being granted all your manifestations all your prayers a lot of them desires achievements all established wishes so we got two cards of wishes have a look at that this is your wish um the, the star is about the wish one of your wishes being granted and the nine of cups is about you not needing anything and having all your wishes being granted and the wheel of fortune uh, contributes to this and so does the world it shows that a lot of your wishes are going to be granted and you are rising beyond rising beyond where you are today leveling up in life and reaching wealth high levels of wealth amazing wow now where was this and where was that this was in in regard to the, no sorry um this was over here this is what dropped out but i'm trying to see okay now let's have a look at i haven't cut the cards in regard to the wheel of fortune it just the nine of cups came out wishes and dreams established let's see the wheel of fortune for all virgo Someone is going to be supportive, someone of water energy, either Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone that might be alongside with you. This could be the love charm. This could be the partner that you are committing to do everything with, possibly. They could have earth energy in them, which is like yourself, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone very hard worker, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Make sure you look at your general reading. You'll know exactly the star sign combination and who this person is. This person could consist of, could have in them, water energy and earth scorpio cancer pisces one more time earth you like yourself virgo taurus or capricorn this person could be the life partner you will work hard together um, and everything is going to pay off or somebody could be uplifting you to the next level and but i feel like it's destiny we're talking about destiny here so it's destiny bringing on this person you see that's what we're talking about this person could be the life partner that they're talking about or um business partner but it is a soul partner and you are committing to do so much together and i feel this person could be earth and water energy very interesting extraordinary interesting <laughs> so that's amazing what you don't see coming is that there is a new beginning destined for you and there is earth energy very strong in this person my dear virgo there is very strong you see the earth this is earth energy this is like you virgo Taurus Capricorn so there's someone very supportive someone magnificent that's going to be by your side um, financial freedom and wealth living a life of luxury having it all and perhaps buying a car a very wealthy car or um, buying a big investment like a house or an apartment um, and a new lease on life that's going to give you rewards healing and perhaps one of your wishes being granted could be giving you this compensation for all that you didn't have and a beautiful lease of life coming 
something spectacular unlike anything you've had with a lot of rewards with Archangel Gabriel and the trumpet. Magnificent. The Wheel of Fortune is going to give you so much. You are going to be shocked at what is coming for you. Unbelievable, my dear Virgo. Wow. Wow. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. It's just the blessings are overwhelming and abundance is here in every possible way. The victories and the blessings are just enormous. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, one or two comments about how you feel and how this connects with you. I love reading from you. Um, you know, details about how it's connecting with you more than anything else. And um, I would like to say also, I wish you a lot of happiness and a lot of blessings in every step of the way. And don't forget something's happening around September. Keep watching. Don't forget to watch your general reading to tell you the star sign combination and which ones, which particular signs are in that person that you are uniting with on a very, very, very high level beyond your imagination and beyond your expectation so this is right after remember after grieving the loss of someone so it's not someone you're with now that's another factor anyway i do wish you uh, plenty uh, plenty of love and light abundance of it and namaste